Hello, hello, Deborah Dashinger from the Dare to Dream radio show, and welcome. So great to be with you, and I'm so excited. I have, I had to write a chapter for a book that's being published, and I was given the word, and also I think I asked for the word creation. And then when I came to the deadline and had to write about this, I was like, oh, creation, creation. It's also tough because I'm finishing writing my book at the same time. So creation, creation, creation. But now it's all flown, flown out of me. <laughs> That's great. It's flowed is really what I mean. But luckily the piece has flown out because it's ready to be sent. I'm so excited about that. I finished it. And it's amazing what you put your mind to do and what can actually happen. So we are going to talk about creation, naturally, and and I do hope you will pick up my book because my book is going to help people really move ahead in their dreams and their goals. I'm very excited that I finally get to put this into print form. Formulas, recipes, how to get there. So creation. Let's just talk about some senses and ideas. Um, first, I want to tell you that once upon a time, I wanted to make some really lovely things happen in my life. And so I decided that I was going to make a vision board. We've all heard of vision boards, right? So I could put up pictures of what I felt I wanted my man, the, the feeling of a relationship between a, me and a man to be like, my body, my health, my money, my career, my car, uh, my insides, all of that stuff. And so I filled my vision board full of pictures, but also really nice expressions that stated what I was interested in. One of the things I wanted to create at that time, I was obsessed with a sports car called the Lexus SC 450. I mean, crazy about it. So I wanted one so bad, I put it on my vision board and I even put a little picture of me like waving from the convertible of the Lexus. Okay, then I took action. So I went to a Lexus dealership. I met with the person there, and I drove some of their Lexus. When we were done, I said, well, those were all very nice, but none of them are exactly what I want. And I told the gentleman, what I really want is a forest green color, dark green Lexus with brown wood interior. And he said, okay, well, that's going to be tough to find because most of them are manufactured in the basic colors, you know, white, black, Navy, maybe a red here and there, but forest green may be very tough. I said, well, that's an interesting perspective, but that's really what I want. Nice guy, shook hands, bye-bye. He calls me a week later and says, ma'am, you're not going to believe this, but a man just pulled in and wants to sell his forest green Lexus with brown interior. I'm like, I know. You, who are you talking to? I am the dream girl. So I got it on my vision board, of course. Of course, Lordy, Lordy. So... Blah, 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 test drove the car. Doesn't, you know, the rest of the story doesn't matter. It, the bottom line is really I created it from the void of nothing into a something. Yes? And that's the way life works. It's uh, creating is like ordering off a menu. You go in a restaurant, you say to the waitress or waiter, I want this food, this is how I like it cooked, I want this, or uh, let's say he's ordering an omelet. I want these vegetables in it. I don't want those vegetables. I want this cheese, not that cheese. I want, I want to cook like this, and off they go. When the waiter or waitress gets there, they put it up on a wheel, they spin it around, and there's the cosmos, yes? So it's like ordering is like creating, saying what you want to the universe, what you want, and the cook is actually the universe. But you're not going to run back there and say, are they sauteing my, my omelet? Are they stirring it up? What are they doing? You're going to believe that it's going to be cooked right. So it's up to you to let go. And then you receive the wonderful meal or creation, co-creation, of what you've put out there. So that's about ordering. And it's also good to be careful about what you prefer, right? You want to make sure when you fill out that order what you're really asking for. Recently, I had to do a photo shoot. And I, I came back from being in Canada in some workshops, and I am telling you, from the moment I came back, I haven't stopped. It's like, brum, brum, I feel like I'm on a horse, galloping, and it has been, you know, work, and then someone's birthday at night, this, and then something else, this, and then the radio show, this, and then, it's like, oh my god! Really, so all up until this, 
hair, makeup, then photo shoot. It's been so intense. And, and so I was going to the photo shoot, and I was, uh, I was having some stress and concern. How's this going to turn out? I don't feel like I've slept enough. I don't feel this. I don't feel that. You know, you like to be relaxed, go into something like this. When suddenly it, I realized this is, prepos this is preposterous. This is so nonproductive. Who cares? And I just made a choice, like a CEO choice in that moment. I'm not going to be stressed. I'm not going to be concerned. I'm going to be in a great place because I decide. I get to choose exactly where I'm going to be. And that's what I did. So I even made it really fun and exciting and said, what if today was your birthday? Of course, it's not. My birthday is June 27th, and it's not June 27th. But I said, what if today was like your birthday? And today is your day. And you're, everybody's aligning for you, and it, this is you're so special, and everything's going to work out. You get to sit back and just enjoy yourself. And I don't know about you, but birthdays are awesome to me. Other people's, and especially mine. So I was so excited about that fact that I really went into the shoot like, hey, it's my birthday. I get to be here. You get to photograph me. <laughs> it was the best. And I'm telling you, it completely changed the trajectory of my day, the shoot, everything. It was cool. It worked out good. So make something that you're up against instead of stressful or fearful or a resistant experience. Just switch it around. Pick something that's really productive and positive and choose that instead. Infuse it with that. Imbue it with that and see what the result is. You'll be so much happier. I mean, life goes so fast. Why not have some fun, really, right? So there is creation. Yes, creation is what is a nothing, and we put out our thoughts, our feelings, our beliefs, our images into the space we have co-created with. And here's another piece. And that is that sometimes we're going on the, the right path, meaning towards the right, when all of a sudden life takes a left. That's what John Lennon said and what he meant when he said, a life happens, um, things happen when you're creating life. I'm sorry, I'm not remembering the exact quote, but you all know it. It's famous. So life, life happens, right? It's a big surprise often. And that's not a yo bad or yo good or anything else. It's just it is. And what do we do when that happens? And when that happens, do you resist the whole experience and situation? Because, man, that'll make it so tough. I know from experience or do you just choose to flow with do you just say you know this is now recreation like altering now sometimes there's a situations like you're in a job and you're going along and you're thinking you know I thought this was gonna be it I thought this was gonna be a great place for me but I gotta tell you it's not filling me inside I need to be somewhere else and you have the choice to recreate the path you are on, recreate a job for yourself so that you do find something that fills you with passion. The same is true for relationships, whether it's an intimate relationship or friend relationships. You might look around at who you're with or the people you surround yourself with and say, you know, when I leave, I don't feel so good about myself and it's not coming from me. I don't like the vibe of being with these other people. It's not working for me. So. You get to redefine and choose a new experience for yourself. My dear friend, Daniel Gutierrez, says that every so often he purges. He says he figures he's got about 100 people at any time between friends, family, colleagues, who are in his life. And sometimes he'll look around and say, you know, that 8-10% of people, they're really not showing up. They're really not delivering. They're really not giving and and he gives I give a lot too we really show up for people so when you really do and you're also operating as a winner in life you want the same reflected back if not better from others and so every so often he'll purge because he knows when he creates that void what will be created into that space is again the players who want to play who want to play big who will who are willing to show up who are willing to share and give to his life. I think that makes so much sense. So that's another place where we can redefine and recreate so that it constantly is working for us. Well, we've talked about creation and the last piece I want to say is we pray ceaselessly. What does that mean? We pray ceaselessly because we are constantly thinking and asserting our thoughts. Always, right? Even if nobody hears it, it's in here. And what's in here is actually a prayer. So, isn't that a new spin to think about what we pray on? So don't you want to be really careful about what thoughts you put out there, what thoughts are between your ears? 
This is really about what we agree to fill our heads with. So let's make them all great thoughts. Let's create in the best way, in the best space, and no matter where you see yourself headed, stop yourself if it's not working and make a new decision. You can go forward, and this is the greatest way to help you make your dreams and goals come true. Stay in a great space. Life is happening all around us. Be a good, productive part of it. Dare to dream? Go to my website, DebraDashinger.com, D-E-B-O-R-A-H-D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com. Join us there. All my radio interviews are on that site. You'll just love the people you meet. There's a product page. My book is coming out, and I'm so grateful I get to dream and create goals alongside with you. Remember, it's about making those dreams into your reality.